A local attorney is the lead counsel in a just-approved settlement forcing Skechers to shell out millions to customers for unfounded claims about its toning shoes. 10 News broke the story last year about San Diegan suing, claiming that the shoes caused serious injuries. Team 10 investigator Michael Chen looks at why the settlement could mean big changes for consumers. Some bold claims attached to these shoes attracted legal problems for Skechers, and now they're paying up. The plate runs along this side with the five screws. Last year, we introduced you to Danette Rayondo, who tore ligaments and broke her leg and ankle while hiking on Carl's Mountain in her Skechers Shape Up shoes. I took a step and instantly I was on the ground. It's the same shoes endorsed by Kim Kardashian. In commercials, Skechers once claimed the rolling bottom shoes were revolutionary. With Shape Ups, you can finally get in shape without going to the gym. The claims prompted a federal probe, a class action lawsuit over false advertising, and now a settlement. Some $40 million to be paid out to more than 500,000 claims. Those who bought the shoes will get up to $80 back. San Diego lawyer Tim Blood is lead counsel in the case. Skechers advertised that the shoes were special, that they would make the wearer fit and tone simply by wearing them, when in fact that wasn't true. I'm glad that they settled because I feel that companies need to realize that they need to be responsible. Riando's injury lawsuit is part of a separate series of lawsuits claiming the shoe's unusual design caused serious injuries. Another San Diego attorney, Mike Bomberger, represents hundreds in those cases. He says this settlement helps his case. It's the largest ever recovered by the government in a false advertising case. Well, I think the message this settlement is set sending is that you, you can't cheat the public in order to make a dime. Michael Chen, 10 News.